Can't make a video trying to show what happens when this thing starts acting weird. tells me what it does is check ages nothing see that okay strange right so go out here gas, right? Don't start. Don't start. Alright. Let's go wiggle my wires again. It's the first time I got it to do this. Even wiggling the wires. Wiggle these things around. Start up again. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Died before I could get there. Let's see if it'll start without wiggling the wires. Nothing. Alright. Now, just gonna wiggle this first one. Oh shit. Just broke it. Oh, okay. Popped on, popped off. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Forget anything. happens also when the temperature gets up there around 210 and then it says check ages again so that's weird it's so weird See if 
if that makes any difference. Rattle things loose, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, fired up. Interesting. And it's dead. So let's start. Let's start. Touching the gas. I do have the air on. And the defrost. It's already cold out here, so anyway, for me. Alright. Come back over here. So you can see how weird this issue is. Can we wiggle this last one? Let's see if it's some kind of connection. Is it the solders? The cold solders they talk about? It's the IAC T piece. I was about to change my crankshaft position sensor, but I don't know, man. Nothing. IAC. Let's see. Just IAC wiggle. There. Oh, almost cranked over. Weird, right? So difficult. <laughs> so you can see what I'm dealing with here. I wonder if 
this is what other people have been dealing with here. I don't know, that made a difference, right? I just took the wire off, put it back on. All of a sudden, it seems to be running better. Now, turn on the air. Just the defrost. It's fine. Put on the AC. Huh, seems to be running pretty good now. So, temperature still relatively. Oh, oh, just died. Let's see if it cranks. Nope, don't want to crank now. <laughs> okay, we'll turn the air off and the AC off. Turn it on, press the gas, it dies. It's just, it doesn't want to crank over. Give it a gas, it won't crank over. It won't stay running. Try this again. Take off this first terminal here. I'm gonna spray some contact cleaner in this thing. Go a few times, see if I can clean the connections. See if that makes any difference. Oh yeah, I did it with the ignition on again. Let's see. Huh, that cranks up. Then it responds to my gas. Weird. Well, maybe we're getting somewhere. I don't know. I'm gonna Wow, it's running good now starting to make me think it is in that computer interesting well I'm gonna clean the connections see what I get post this one and see if uh, if anybody else has comments for me all right then good luck y'all Jeepers okay so some contact cleaner all right pop this thing off Dries really fast. I'm gonna actually jack it in and out a couple times to try and clean it. Maybe I can work off any corrosion or dirt in there. I'm gonna let it dry out. at operating temperature anyway. Huh, oh, nothing going on, all right. Let me turn on the AC, which usually freaks it out. Interesting. Okay, 
there's the gear. Come on, could it be that easy? Just clean the contacts. Interesting. Well, I guess that's a another one for the list. Try cleaning the contacts. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna let it run here for a while. Get back up to that hotter temperature. It's closer to 210, it seems to act worse. Right now we're not quite there. But, wow, I mean, that's definitely the best result I've had yet. Um, I've changed the, I, uh, the idle air control valve. I changed the coil, the plugs, the wires, distributor cap, rotors. Um, yeah, I was gonna do the crankshaft position sensor, but I saw people saying that they still had the same issue when they did it. And I wanted to change the computer because I heard people have issues with that. But just cleaning the contacts right now, really? Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna let it run, I'm gonna drive it around, see if I can make it do that thing where it freaks out again. Well, it's been a pretty good study. See if I have anything to add. I will. Thanks, guys. Well, I've been running since I did that. It's, uh, I went driving around. It's driving great. It's running great. Uh, I'm going to let it sit here and idle for a while because usually it will just stall on me. Um, operating temperatures up around the 210 where it would usually act up. I mean, that's normal operating temperature. I mean, we're solid. Air's on. I mean, that is solid. <sighs> really. Um, I hope this is the fix, guys. I mean, that would be really simple. I haven't seen anybody say they just cleaned the connectors, so. I don't know, man. Not a stall. Not a sputter. I'm going to leave it running and come back in a little bit and see if I can make it stall or sputter. I'll let you know. I'll make some more videos and edit this all together for you guys. So far, so good. So, uh, it's been running for over 10 minutes. It hasn't stalled. Still running good. Still running strong. It's even hotter now. It's up there at that 210. Put it in gear. Let's see. No stalling, no sputtering. Wow. Just cleaning the connectors, huh? I mean, it's worth a shot. It doesn't get much easier of a fix if that's the case. Well, good luck, guys. I hope it works for you, too.